a year and a half, and he's going to actually turn to Rachel and go, well, what was her name again? Yeah, oh, what a tangled web we weave, and, and that's what's happening. I mean, look, it's not that uh, unnatural for these daughters to be taking their mother's side, even if there wasn't a death here because the father was cheating. But the, this callousness, this eight days later, uh, you know, then you have uh, him looking for the nanny right away. You know, it's not that unheard of, even for a doctor who has just lost his wife to take a few weeks off and grieve right. and take care of the, the young six-year-old. Um, the fact that all he's concerned with is the nanny shows how consumed he was, mm -hmm. how how irrelevant Michelle was, except that she was out of the way. Exactly. That was the only thing relevant. Doctor, impactful in this case. Well, it's cumulative. I mean, some of the other sisters were much more powerful. The fact that she believes he did it, you know, in essence, is uh, uh, powerful too. But uh, cumulative, just one more thing. It just wasn't uh, in and of itself uh, uh, a big piece of this puzzle. Yeah. Hey, well, what could be she is, but you know, the one thing about, you know, uh, uh, her being down to two Percocets and what happened, I really think this points out the weakness in the state's case. They mm. just don't know that if it was a homicide or not, according to their own coroners. They don't know how it happened. That's part of the science of the case. Jeff, how do you make sure that jury believes some inmate? The, you know, the, the prosecutor has to do it because he's, he's got to put these pieces together so as to out of Dr. McNeil's mouth, he gets an admission. Uh, and in this case, you know, calling her the B word is not the strongest type of admission that he did something here. He didn't like her. He had a mistress. We know that. Um, that's a given in the case. So it's got to be a little bit more than that. The science is overwhelmingly bad for the state. Got it.